HLA is a fascinating system. It is associated with immune response to pathogens, transform cells, and organ transplant. It has huge therapeutic potential for treating infections, for cancer immunotherapy, and improving outcomes after organ transplant. First of all, we need to understand why body needs HLA system. Cells of immune response have difficult situation. They need to recognize self-peptides to avoid an immune response. At the same time, they need to recognize peptides derived from pathogens and from transformed cells so an immune response can be elicited. As cells of immune system cannot enter into cells of body to know presence of non-self peptides, they somehow need to recognize presence of unfamiliar peptides. This is achieved by presence of MHC or HLA molecule on cell surfaces. These molecules take peptide from interior of cell and present it on surface of cell that is then assessed by cells of immune response. All nucleated cells in body have MHC or HLA class 1 molecules on cell surface. These molecules take self and non-self peptide from interior of cell and present it on cell surface. Where these peptides are assessed by cells of immune response that are T cells. T cells also have corresponding receptors on their cell surface that are called T cell receptors. Similarly, antigen presenting cells have MHC class 2 molecules on cell surface. These cells include dendritic cells, macrophages and B cells. These cells ingest pathogens. Resulting peptides from breakdown of these pathogens is presented on cell surface with MHC class 2 molecules. These cells then move to regional lymph nodes where most of immune response occurs. These cells present antigens to CD4 T cells that result in activation of D cells. B cells can also present antigens to CD4 T cells. Activation of CD4 T cells result in proliferation of D cells. Resulting immune response can be predominantly proliferation and activation of cytotoxic CD8 T cells or proliferation and activation of B cells resulting in formation of antibodies. So MHC molecules present peptide antigens to T cells. To understand nomenclature related to the system, we need to understand how these molecules were discovered. When scientists try to transplant tumor in genetically non-identical mice, it resulted in rejection of tumor. However, if recipient was genetically identical to donor, it resulted in growth of tumor in recipient. It was considered that presence of an immune response resulted in rejection of tumor in genetically non-identical recipient. Later on, it was found that if a set of gene is different in recipient from donor, it results in rejection of tumor, while if this set of gene is similar, it resulted in growth of tumor. This set of gene was given name Major Histocompatibility Complex or MHC. So MHC was first discovered as a set of genes. And later on, it was found that these genes encode proteins that are called MHC molecules. In human beings, same molecules were discovered after antibodies were found in persons even after receiving ABO-compatible blood transfusion. It was thought that these antibodies are due to antigens on leukocytes called human leukocyte antigens or HLA. Later on, it was found that these antigens are encoded by genes in region of MHC. So in human beings, 
this set of genes is called MHC or HLA complex. It's located on short arm of chromosome 6. These genes encode proteins that make MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules. MHC or HLA class 1 molecules are present on all nucleated cells in body, while MHC or HLA class 2 molecules are present only on antigen-presenting cells.